everybody. I am I'm going to do another Dutch pour today like I did before. And I'm really excited about doing another Dutch pour like the one I did before, but I did it all in blues and whites. This time I'm going to do blues, greens, whites, purple. Oh, and gold. I always put gold in everything. Um, so this time we're going to do it, like I said, in purple, greens, white, and blues, and teal, and turquoise. So we're going to work on this. We're going to... Um, we're gonna start off with a clean canvas here. And we are going to fill the cup. Um, I'm gonna fill it starting with this, with this gold. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the whole bunch of gold that's in there, okay? And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this blue. Now this blue is metallic but it is teal actually. So it's a little bit of both. And we're gonna do that on top of that. And we'll do a little bit of the leaf green, metallic leaf green. On top of that. We're gonna put just a little bit of gold, I believe, in between it. We're going to do some of this purple on top of the gold. It's a lot of purple, I think. We're going to do a little bit of phthalo green on top of that. And then of course, my favorite, Prussian blue, which has to go in. I love Prussian blue. And I am going to put just a little bit of deep turquoise in there too as well. I don't have much of this one left, so I'm pretty much going to do it for my deep turquoise. And I think I'm just going to run a little bit of this green gold in there too on top of that, just a little. I don't want a whole lot on there. Um, I think I'll come back to the metallic again. And I got a lot of purple in there, so I don't want any more purple. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more of the phthalo green. the heck let's put a little bit of green gold in there too we'll see what that does to it all right now we're going to run this this is pretty much my color palette here we're going to run this as far down the canvas as i can go oh i love that dark color in there but Okay, that's beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. We're going to do it again this time. Remember, I'm not leaving it like this. So We're going to put a little bit of gold in the... Well, let's put a bit more gold in the bottom. Okay. And let's put purple next to the gold. Put a little bit of the phthalo green next to the purple. Phthalo green, if you don't know, is a very deep dark green. And we're going to put a little bit of a leaf green on top of that. This is metallic. And let's go for some more Prussian blue in there too. I like Prussian blue in there. I love Prussian blue is one of my favorite colors. 
Uh, we will try. I don't know if I have any more of this one left. But we will try a little bit more of the deep, dark turquoise. Yeah, there's a little bit more in there. I do have teal as well, so I'm also using the teal. Um, this is a metallic. And this is teal. Put that on top of that one. I am going to use a little bit more of this green gold than I did in the first one. And we'll put some purple in there again. And I think we will add, since I don't have the other gold anymore, I think I will put some more gold there. I like with Prussian blue. I also like the turquoise together. And uh, here's a little bit more of the phthalo green. I mean, very little bit more, so there's not much left of this one at all. But it'll give it a little color, right? Give it some kick. Get more of the, the, um, metallic color there. Oh, and there is a little bit of this gold. Let's shoot this gold down the center. I didn't think there was any more of this gold left, but there is. Just a tiny bit. That gold is champagne gold, if you're wondering. That's what all this is down here, champagne, because it was in the bottom of the cup, so it came out last. Um, I believe... This is good enough. Hmm. Let's just run this in the old place, right? Perfect. All right. That's a lot of blue in that, ain't there? There be a lot of blue in that. Let's dump the cup over here. And I believe, I believe we have enough paint on our canvas to do this with. Should blow it all the way across and be perfect. This I wanted to keep because this is all gold in here. I love gold, so figured, you know, why waste it? Go ahead and use her up. All right, now. Let's use a little bit of white. I have not done white yet, so we'll blow white over the top. Okay, we can blow white right over the top. I think it's going to be heavenly. Now, I never coat the whole entire canvas because when you blow, you'll see what I mean. Um, and I've got plenty of paint on here for this full canvas. Um, I don't torch it beforehand. I'm kind of funny that way. Um, we're going to blow it here. Gonna see what we get. If we don't like it, yeah, you know, there's always fixing it. There's always changing it. So, painting one o 
one. Right? Painting 101. <laughs> Now, we, I blow mine from the middle. I'm going to blow it all the way out. There's spots that are not painted, we paint them. That's pretty easily done. Actually. So, I have plenty of paint left over. So this is just, this is kind of like just the way that I do it. Um, there is nowhere near as much gold as I really wanted on this painting. So, let's put a little bit of gold through it, shall we? Let's put some gold up here. Yeah, there's some gold. And we'll put some gold down here. Because there is no gold down in here. And I really wanted gold. Um, we'll put a little bit more purple over top of that. Put a little bit more purple over that. We'll do a little bit of green gold over that. That's what I call fixing. So, there's a little bit of phthalo green left. There is not much, but there's a tiny bit, I think. A very tiny bit in here. Well, a very tiny bit in here. So let's do metallic green instead. Yeah, let's do metallic instead. Oh, that's beautiful, ain't it? Oof, 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 oof. All right. See, I don't like this down here, and of course it didn't cover, um, and this didn't cover up here, but this will work. This will make it cover. You will be like really impressed by this, I hope. <laughs> I hope. We'll see though, huh? A bit more white. A bit more white. A bit more white. bit more white. Okay. See? White makes it beautiful. And the same with this one. We'll push this this way. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, I absolutely love how these look. But I'm going to show you. Ooh, that's pretty, huh? Much better with the gold. side may need a little bit more on it but eh. I do like the gold down there on that end Hmm. 
Let's just wait and see what happens. I love the gold down there on that side. So pretty. I love all the bubbles in it. The bubbles. The bubbles are cool. I love the colors that I chose. Uh, I really do. I love the colors that I chose. I really don't like this bug right here, though. I have a gnat for some reason who was flying around on here and getting on it. You know, how dare he? the colors of it. I like the gold. I like the purple. The purple almost looks pink. I really like the Prussian blue. Of course, I'm a Prussian blue person anyway because I love Prussian blue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little torch. Just quick torch, I think. Probably going to hate myself for this. give it a big torch because there's too many bubbles in it. So, I just did a tiny torch. <laughs> a tiny torch. That sounds funny, doesn't it? A tiny torch. But what do you think? This is, um, I think it's quite the pretty picture. Let's come down and I'll show you. Um, I don't know what you think. Let me know. It turned into a long video, didn't it? I didn't mean for it to. It certainly did, though. Turned into the long video. Sorry about that. This should be the middle. Right about there is the middle. Turned out pretty nice. Takes a few days for it to dry. And then we'll go from there. But I think, quite impressed by this painting, I think. So I'm going to leave this painting alone. And let it do its thing. And you definitely let me know what you think. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.